days time for a social media crime? I didn't think I did anything wrong. But Edgewood Middle School did when they found out 7th grader Zachary Bolin had liked a picture of a gun on Instagram. He never shared, he never commented, never made a threatening post, anything on, on the site. Just liked it. Next morning, uh, they called me down and like patted me down and checked me for weapons. And then they told me I was getting expelled or suspended or whatever. The note sent home to his parents said the reason behind the suspension was liking a post on social media that indicated potential school violence. I was livid. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, you just suspended him for 10 days for liking a picture of a gun on a social media site. The gun in question is an airsoft gun, and it's something Zachary and his friends like to play with. But the caption concerned the school as it simply read, ready. The superintendent released a statement to Fox 19, which read in part, I assure you that any social media threat will be taken serious, including those who like the post when it potentially endangers the health and safety of students or adversely affects the educational process. After a talk with school administrators, the Bolins tell us the suspension has been lifted and just in time for this middle schooler to get back to pursuing his dreams. There was this thing I was going to do, like diesel from a diesel mechanics, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that because this happened, and but it's fine now. Now, while Boland's suspension has been lifted, the person who actually took and posted the photo remains out of school at this time. And I want you to actually take a look, because right inside the doors of the middle school here is a billboard cautioning students to think about what they're posting on social media. Boland's certainly going to think now about what he likes on social media as well. It's what he said in a conversation earlier tonight. We do also want to note that Edgewood Middle School sent an email out earlier this week telling parents of the alleged threat and notifying them not to worry that their students and their children are safe here. Reporting live in Trenton tonight, Ken Brown, Fox 19 Now.